Leo, you are up for the June tarot energy reading. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Yeah, that's all I got on that part. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. All right. So, Leo, yeah, you, you're kind of being drafted. That's what it is. You're being drafted. So, I already pulled the cards to expedite the reading. Let's start with the first card that came out, which is one of my favorite cards. Number seven might be of significance to you. Your birthday could be August the 7th or either um, you could have been born at 7 p.m. Or, or whatever. There may be something significant about seven. It says, change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. Change is coming. So, Leo, there's some good change. You see the butterfly, which is the symbol of transformation. There's some good change coming into your life. So change is coming. Also, another confirmation of that, number 32 might be significant to you. Don't forget three plus two equals five. Five might be significant to you. Um, the way forward is open. It says you're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. And it says on here, you are here. And then it has joy on this map right here. If you see at the bottom with the X there, it says you are here. And then there it leads. If you see the dotted line, it leads to joy. And what this is saying is that you will receive guidance on this journey to that joy. That is what it's saying. At the bottom of the deck for the oracle, it says, be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. That is what you are being drafted for. You're being drafted to be a light. That is what you're being drafted for. Now, this confirms that. This card came out in the pre-shuffle, which is the sun, which is your card, Leo. And I can't quite think of anything brighter than the sun. At least not in this galaxy. So, yeah. It's saying that you need to be that light. And also that there's a lot of joy and happiness available to you. That's what it's saying. It's saying that your burdens, if you notice the ten of wands is in reverse. That your burdens are being dropped. That the cycle is coming to an end. You may feel like, why me? With the nine of wands, all of this fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As a matter of fact, all of the cards that set the card on the bottom of the tarot deck is all fire energy, just so you know. So with the nine of wands, this is, like I said, wounded warrior having your guard up. For some of you, and, and I know this with one specific Leo that I know personally, where you may feel like you're thrown into stuff. And you're like, why me with the nine of wands? <laughs> and you want to, your default, because stuff keeps being thrown at you, is like you want to put your guard up and be like, I don't want to deal with this. Sadly, the universe is saying, well, no, I want you to be a light to others. I want you to, to bring some type of I guess one might say reason to to the world conversation. But be balanced when you do it. Temperance, which is about healing. It's also about moderation. It's about balance. It's about alchemy. And temperance is Sagittarius energy. Some of you might be a... Uh, well, not be a Sagittarius, but some of you might have Sagittarius in your chart. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is Sagittarius energy. Again, more fire energy. So all of this is fire energy. All of this is dealing with passion. Maybe for some of you, you were passionate about one thing at one point, but now you're not passionate about it as much anymore. Some of that will more than likely be changing due to experiences that you may have in the future. There may be something that reignites the passion again. I feel like it's more in your hands. 
It's like stuff will be presented to you, but it's up to you whether you get excited about it or not. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the star card. This is Aquarius energy, is what the star card is. Also, number 17. 17 might be of significance to you. But the star card is about knowing what your direction is. The star card is about finding direction. The star card is also about healing. The star card is also about a wish coming true. The star card can also be about recognition, praise, or attention. You could be receiving one or all of those things that I just mentioned. But what the star card is saying is that you are a light as well. So you have the sun and you have the star. And don't get me wrong, the sun is the biggest star. But the sun is a star. It's just it's just a larger star. So this is saying both of these are known to be lights. Both of these are known to be guides. Just like it's almost when someone is sailing a ship, They're like, okay, what side is the sun on? They're like, if the sun is on this side, that means you need to go this way. Or if it's on that side, it means you need to go that way. Based off of, I think if it's on the um, port side, which is on the left, I think that means you're headed east or something to that nature. I don't consider myself a ship captain. Just saying. But that's how important the sun is. That's how important the stars are. Because... The um, people who are captains of ships, the sailors have used stars to guide them in the night to wherever they're going. So again, you're being drafted to be a light. You may not be thrilled about it, but apparently the universe has a lot of confidence in you and a change is coming To bring in new things that also might elevate your voice in the world conversation. All right. So, Leo, that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, Leo, be blessed.